Unraveling the Deals, the story behind White Sales. Hello, dear viewers. Today, we're diving into an interesting phrase that pops up especially around January in department stores and home goods retailers, White Sale. It's not about the color, it's about getting the best deals for your home. Stick with us as we explore the meaning, origin, and usage of this unique term. Whether you're a bargain hunter or just curious about English idioms, you're in the right place. White sale is a term that retailers use to describe a sale of household linens, things like sheets, towels, and bedding, which traditionally were available only in white. These sales are typically held in January and are a great opportunity for shoppers to buy these items at discounted prices. It's a term steeply rooted in tradition and commerce, and knowing about it could score you some excellent deals. The concept of a white sale is over 100 years old. It was invented by a department store owner named John Wanamaker in Philadelphia in 1878. The idea was to increase sales during the slow retail month of January by offering discounts on bedding and linens, which were, at that time, mostly white, hence the term, white sale. While, white sales, initially focused on white linens, over time, this has changed. Nowadays, the term has expanded to include items of all colors and patterns. However, the name, white sale, sticks because it's a familiar term to shoppers looking for deals after the holiday season. Retailers continue to hold white sales as a way to clear out inventory and make room for new stock. White sales have become a cultural phenomenon in many English-speaking countries, particularly in the United States. They are an anticipated event for bargain hunters and are often advertised heavily. The term has even broadened beyond retail to describe any good sale on household items, regardless of the time of year. When you hear someone say they're waiting for a white sale, they're expressing their intent to purchase home textiles, and they want to get them at a discount. For example, I need new towels for my bathroom, but I'm going to wait for the white sale at the department store. And there you have it. You're now equipped with the knowledge of what a white sale is, its history, and how to use the term. We hope this has been an enlightening journey through a small but fascinating part of the English language related to shopping and savings. May your future shopping endeavors be fruitful, especially if you catch a great white sale. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you again soon for more language learning videos.